global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel, Global Happenings Today. Apparently, what is going on is no longer the fight between Fubara and Yesomiki, but now between yes or wiki and all the allies of fubara including fubara himself so if you are in the camp of fubara and you're actively involved in politics then be rest assured you are in this uh, uh, battle line with uh, the fct minister as he has already begun already and as usual uh, the governor also have decided to shield his own people let's finally dive into the news proper to find out exactly what is going on in reverse state. now according to the news the river state high court in Porta court has just nullified the suspension of Honorable Awaji Nomke Abiate, the federal lawmaker representing Anthony Okobo Nkoro constituency and the House of Representatives from the People's Dep uh, Democratic Party PDP. What really happened? Well, I Abiante, an ally of River State Governor Simlalai Fubara, was allegedly suspended sometime in May by a parallel PDP Ward Caretaker Committee, loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory FCT, that's Nyesom Wike. The faction led by DK Bara accused the lawmaker of anti party activities, including promoting factions within the ward and aligning with a rival group within the party. In a judgment delivered on Monday in suit number PHC forward slash 1391 forward slash CS forward slash 2024, Justice G.O. Justice G.O. Olor ruled that the Ketika Committee lacked the constitutional authority to suspend Abiate. The court held that the lawmaker was denied a fair hearing rendering the suspension illegal and unconstitutional. Justice Olo emphasized that the actions of Mr. D.K. Barra and his associates were invalid, stating that the factional PDP caretaker committee in Ward 1, Ngo, and Doni local government area does not have the legal standing to suspend a National Assembly member. Now, reacting to this ruling, Onobel Bate himself expressed relief describing the court's decision the court's decision as a vindication of his earlier stance. He stated, and I quote him word for word, I had said months back that this illegal action won't stand because as a member of the PDP, I am well acquainted with the constitution of our great party and that of Nigeria. Today's ruling has fully challenged the membership status of those behind this illegal action. Abiate accused those behind the suspension of acting with ulterior motives to undermine the administration of Governor Fubara. He has said, and I quote him again, word for word, these are people hired to be a clog in the wheel of development and good governance in River State, championed by Governor Similalai Fubara. They will continue to fail. The lawmaker also reiterated his commitment to working with Governor Fubara to deliver on the government's development agenda, urging his constituents to remain steadfast in their support for the administration. In his statement, I quote him again, Abiate said, let me once again reiterate that those who sat and made the announcement in May are not members of the PDP because their names are nowhere written in the PDP register of Ward 1 and Ngo Adoni local government area. Wow, this is quite, quite very interesting. That those who sacked him are not even Ward members of his party. They're not even from the constituency. They're not from Ward 1 of Ngo Adon, Adoni and Doni local government area, where he is from. My colleague is in the house. And this is getting quite interesting. So which means... If for any reason you're a politician and you stand with Fubara, you gotta really watch your back. Because if for any reason Fubara cannot be reached, you definitely will go for, go in for it. What's your take on this latest development? Well, for me, this is uh, good news, considering the fact that the court has done what is right at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I must say that uh, whatever stand that Fubara pulled, there was good enough to save. The face of his support. I mean, that's one of the things that we have to, you know, stand by in the course of, 
your political journey there are people who are going to stand by you especially if you are going the right direction and uh, standing by you means they're going to be enemies to those who are your enemies and friends to those who are your friends women interest is the key word here so i i think when he started king up with uh, the person of fubara uh, the other group, other family who are strong opposition against Fubara had to like, why would you go and stand with them? I am the Alpha and Omega and all of that. That's why they had to play around, you know, the constitution of PDP and see how they can kick him out of office. But somehow he had been able to get back his own position. I'm really excited for him. And that's a, a message out there that no matter what, it is always the righteous that will prevail at the end of the day. I know that so much corruption in Nigeria, but then we have to align with what is right. We must stand by what is true. Fubara has come to stay and there's nothing anyone can do about the highest they can do is to continue pulling their stone, but there's no way they can win at the end of the day. All right, but one one last question. Do you think that um, Fubara really pulled any stunt here, judging the fact that he said in his words that he checked out the names of those who oysted him out, who said he practiced anti-party uh, politics, that they were not even members of his Ward 1 in uh, uh, Nguandoni local government area, where he is from. And that, as they're not ward members of PDP, so where did the names come out from? Because actually, from what we are gathering, they are factional caretaker. What's your take on this? Well, I way Fubara will come in there is possibly he will still give him some level of support, but it's important for us to know our onions when we are in politics, and I think that is what really saved the day. Uh, he understood that before you can. Uh, pull a stunt on someone to be able to kick him out of office in there or suspend him out of, of office or sustain him as a PDP member. Number one, you must be from the same ward with the person. You understand? It cannot be someone who come from somewhere else and, you know, do such a thing. And I think that that understanding he had was able to you know, secure him back his position as a PDP member. These things are happening, you know, and, you know, the most unfortunate part of it is that oftentimes when these things happen, the national won't even come in here to save the day, even the state. Why? Because possibly they were standing with this guy. Because uh, normally before such a thing will be rolled out, it is expected that the state should review the relationship between the person and the party. Some do should not sit somewhere and make a recommendation that will end up affecting, you know, the membership of other people in the party. So I, I think that what really helped him out was the fact that he knew the origin of this thing, that it's not from, you know, my own personal word, my word that okay with me, you coming from wherever you're coming to do this, you want to make sure you, you, you are being sponsored. That's the right word. You are being sponsored. Because how would you all of a sudden say someone is carrying out anti-party activity when you've not seen him, you know, playing games with such people? Some of them believe if you support Fubara, you're supporting APP. And I think that was on that grounds that they took that kind of move. But however, the most important thing is the fact that he has been restored. Okay, I guess that's good. Wrap it up.